Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Today, I have my co-host, Barbara. With me. Are you there, Barbara? Yes, I am. Hi, everybody. And also, we have Psychic Dale Shear and Richard. Now, I, he's on. Uh, it says that he's on. Um and he's connected. Uh, are, are you there, Richard? I can't hear him. Okay, he's on. And it must be your phone because I can't hear you. Okay, so uh, Richard might have his phone uh, on mute or something. Let me find out. I can't believe this. Okay. I can't believe We, got, we all <laughs> want Richard to say hi. <laughs> Swear to God, every time. He, he Richard, disconnected. Is your so phone on mute? Like, Are you on mute? Don't worry about me. I'm trying to get back on to you. No, you were on, but is your phone on mute? He's he's okay. off now. Take a look. <clears throat> Make sure it's not on mute. He's checking. Whatever. If he comes on, he comes on. If he doesn't, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, Barbara, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. Let's tell everybody what we were talking about. Okay. I just got what were we ten talking? minutes ago. Oh, oh, I was remember we were talking about um the well what you just were talking about. <laughs> I'm not changing the subject. <laughs> On you. Yeah, okay. Oh we yeah. were talking about Barbara got her COVID shot and she was scared. That she might have a reaction. And I said, you don't have a reaction until the second day, if you have one at all. I didn't have on the second one. I did not have a reaction. And neither did Johnny. Johnny, are you there? Okay. I'm here. Are you there, Johnny, Richard? There? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm there. Now oh, yeah, you're there. Hi. Hi. Aloha, Richard. Aloha, everybody. Anyway, I had my doctor call me. I I went to my doctor's visit today, and I am cancer free, which I'm proud to say. Oh, good, that's great. Which I knew. Yeah. Yeah, you said you muscle tested that. Oh, is that um, what that was? I did. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that was. I I mean, I I was going to tell you something. Go on, go on, go on. I don't want to interrupt. Okay, um, so I'm five years cancer-free, but um, what got me is, Barb, this, they, I guess the oncologists have quit in general uh, in a lot of places, and they have up in this area, too. So we had to have an oncologist be flown in to work with people, and um, the only thing he got me on, which every doctor gets me on, when they do my blood test. My red blood cells are one point higher than normal, and they go, well, why don't you get this tested? I said, no, because it has, and, and, and they don't get it. It has to do with high altitude. Um, if I'm at 7,200 feet or 5,500 feet, the oxygen is less. So they freak mm-hmm. out, and they want you to do further testing, and I go, no not doing it. So for all these years, because I've lived at high altitude, then when I go to Hawaii, I go to normal. Then after a while of being in Hawaii, it goes to normal. So oh, okay. they all freak out. I well, have. that's interesting. <laughs> and and, and, yeah. and that, but this, doc, yeah, this doctor said to me, see, this is really weird. Um, and I have to say this because there's a lot of people that will think I'm crazy or, but whatever. Uh, I had a <laughs> tiny little cyst like on my breast, on, on my right breast. And I saw it on the mammogram. No one else saw it. I saw it. And I said to the radiologist, please look into this further, which he thought, this is five years ago, he thought that it might be cancer. And we had a biopsy, and it was. So uh, most people get freaked out. I didn't. So I sent it to my OBGYN here in Nevada, because he is like one of the best in the country. He was a doctor at 29 years old. So, um, you know, he's in his 60s now, and he's great. So he sent it to a surgeon 
up at the lake, and um, she did surgery on me for two hours. I requested no anesthesia. They oh were God. not going to, you're right, they were not going to do the surgery. And I said, well, then don't do it. I don't care. And Richard was the one that told me that anesthesia stays in your body a long time. And uh, I didn't want it. I didn't want it there. So I just put myself in a state where they gave me drugs or whatever they gave me, but I felt fine. And they did the surgery. And I said, look, if I'm in any pain, I'll hold up one finger and you can use the anesthesiologist. I was in no pain. They were all freaked out. I'm talking doctors, nurses, surgeons. Like, how could you be going to surgery for two hours and not have anesthesia? Yeah, I don't. And I've done that one. Yeah, well, I just put myself in that mind state, and I was wow, fine. that's I woke powerful. Up. Yeah, I woke up and I went to lunch, and then I did have that's radiation, crazy. which which was a tiny bit of radiation uh, for thirty days, and that was it. And then you know they wanted me to take all these pills to prevent cancer, chemo, and I said, "There's no way I'm doing that." And they go, "Why?" I said, I've researched it for me. I'm not, I mean, it may help other people, but everybody I know that does, um, a lot, the radi- you know, does a lot of that stuff dies anyway. So I said, I'd rather have quality life. Leave me alone. So my surgeon was too. like, yeah, my surgeon was like ballistic. And she said, no, you've got to take this pill. And I said, no, I don't. I looked at the side effects of this pill and I said, it would, forget it. It will put me in a tizzy. So I never took it. So five years later, needless to say, I'm fine. Oh, that's so wonderful. And I as to, the years, yeah. wait, as the years go by, it, the chances of it coming back are slimmer. So we're good. Right. Well, I wanted to say something. You know, um, I talked to you about this earlier, uh, Dale, but I want to go ahead and say it because this is one of the reasons why we're very thankful that you're here. Uh, no, you've you told me this story before, Johnny. But I didn't say I'm it on the air. air. Right? I was yes, you did. Air. Okay. See, yes, what you, happened you was did. was that uh, there was this, uh, I think it was an animal medium that we had on the show. And uh, he reads for, he was reading, what he, what he does is he's not so much the phone calls kind of person you know, he, he what happened was was that he was on the air. He's talking about like what what signs animals leave after they pass away, and what happened was was oh. that the last time he was on, uh, somebody called in and uh, they said, "Well, I want a reading." You know, and he he wasn't comfortable. He felt very on the spot, so the caller grilled him wanting a reading. You know, and then. And, it made him very uncomfortable. Well, after that uh, experience, uh, and Barbara probably remembers this, but you know she didn't realize that this was one of the causes. I took Barbara aside, and I talked to her on the phone, and I said, "Barbara, listen, you know we need to have a psychic on the show on a regular basis, not every day, but maybe every week." So that the next time that happens, we can say to the person, hey, call back on this day, you understand? Um, and that was why, one of the reasons why we did this. That's one of the reasons why we have a little thing in the beginning called it Psychic Night is what I called it. I'm not sure I know, but, uh, I know, but Johnny, but, number one, you did tell this on air because I remember, no, I but on the set, well, whatever. Okay, the other thing was... Um, I was on the show that day, and I and he gave me a reading about my dog at that time, and it was right. And I said, you know, you should do this professionally. And I remember him, and I said, he he was very good, and that's the way I put it. I could do that as well. I could read animals at, at, as well. Yeah. Well, However, the point I'm trying I'm to like get at here is wait, that you're I very finish? valuable. Sorry, Carter. Well, thank you. Thank you. I just think I'm a normal person. But anyway, I went and um, <laughs> I do – oh, Richie's laughing. <laughs> I don't go buy cars every year, and I don't go buy iPhones every year and watches every year. So there. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Uh, Sorry, I'm laughing. 
<laughs> anyway. Um, so, so I <laughs> no, I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot. Um, Barbara, refresh my... <laughs> but right no, no, now, Barbara, no, refresh... but that doesn't mean there won't be. So it's... it's oh, wonderful, John. You did a great job. But uh, I did... Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, just, Johnny, why I don't you give out your phone number? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know <laughs> what his point is. was about that guy. Well, my <laughs> point, the point is, is that uh, Barbara really, um, Dale really feels a need because you know what it does is it stops people who were never, never claimed to be psychic being hounded to give readings and being asked for advice. They, they think because somebody is on, is on here to talk about something paranormal related. They think they're going to just call in and get a reading, which isn't always true, you know. And that's why it, you know, it like for example, um, you know, when, when Barbara, I have um, Barbara, <laughs> yeah, do something. <laughs> Barbara, do getting, something I'm right now. I'm getting lost again. <laughs> like I'm getting lost because it's like I can't pay attention to it. The, so, the stories are so <laughs> long. Okay. I know. Well, anyway, uh, the uh, number is five one six. Five three one nine eight seven four, and I guess the gist of it, the short of it, is that we really appreciate that you're here with us every Friday. You make things Thank a lot easier. Whether we have <laughs> cars or not, I'm here. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. the, the guy, the guy. Were you talking about a guy who called a caller, and he actually said that he was a reader and he read you for your dog? Is this who we're talking nope, about? This is, yes, nope, yes, different yes. Different person. Different person. Oh, but why person. is Tony oh. talking about this person? I'd like to know the end I of the know. story. Well, <laughs> like what? I don't what know. about it, Tony? What? Why Tony? am I talking about, about this person? Him? Because yeah. if it wasn't for him, I don't think we would be having a psychic on on a regular basis on the show every week. Well, you had psychics on on a regular basis, right? Prior and to that me. was right. A lot right. of them. <laughs> But see, this why this format. Got back. So the way he's indirectly uh, was the indirect cause of you being on the show because I don't want people being hounded for things that they about things that they never claim to be able to do. You know, so it's really All right, great. Johnny, you're losing me. You're losing me. I don't, me. I don't get yeah. it. I'm not getting that either. I don't get right. it. What is hey, his wait, name? Wait, wait. Before we move on, can you yeah. tell the name so the guy can get the glory for a second? Get his little 10 minutes of fame here with this story. What is his name? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. On Monday, his name. his name is Rob Gutrow, is his name. They're having him on. Thanks, Rob Gutrow. Thank you. Thanks for the great That's shout out about our site that we know is awesome. I was awesome. saying that I I do pet readings as well, but I have people send me a picture of their animal so I can see what the problem might be. That's how I do. Yeah, that helps. That really. You know, helps. if you're you just reading someone's voice. if you're reading someone's mind, it may be accurate, may not. But if I look at the picture, then I can tell. I need a psychic for my dog. I'm going to tell you right now, he's, he's, <laughs> I was talking to Richard yesterday. I hear this crunch. 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 What is that noise? And I turn around and he was eating my bedspread. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh, and I'm going, what are you doing? So I had to go find a needle oh. and a thread, thread to, he, if he doesn't get the attention, he's a Leo. If he doesn't get the attention he wants, he creates a drama. <laughs> and he, does some, he, he does some very weird things. Like he'll, he's, gotten in, he's gotten into in the backyard uh, bringing, he sees my husband chopping logs for firewood. So he brings the logs in to the house. And then he throws them on the bed and hits my husband over the head with it. Oh, my gosh, he's so strong. <laughs> yes, he's very strong. Nine, 90 oh, pounds no. of – he is all muscle. He's a big boy. He is a big and boy. He's, I love he, him. He, he, German oh, Shepherd, so right? Yeah. He's Wonderful you, big I'll German send, Shepherd. Named Lucky, you so you can read Lucky's mind. That's good. Well, <laughs> Lucky sort of reads my mind. If I'm going to go sit in a chair, he goes and sits in it before I do. Oh, that's so <laughs> silly. That is 
Yes. True. I have pictures of him doing (laughs) the funniest things. I mean, I can't believe some of the stuff. He almost can talk. It's scary. It's scary. I'm waiting. Any moment Mm -hmm. now, he's going to say words. (laughs) <laughs> I think he's saying them but... Sco- Scooby Doo <laughs> Has anybody seen that Has anybody seen The, the movie Marmaduke no. no No You never saw Marmaduke Oh you gotta no. see it. It's all about a dog It's all about a dog okay. And he's huge And he's always getting into trouble It's hysterical oh. It was a very yeah. good I liked Benji was when I was young. I loved that movie about that dog, Benji. Yeah, Benji was cute. I could never handle Lady in the Tramp. It always made me cry. What about Lassie? <laughs> Lassie mm-hmm. I liked. Rin Tin Tin I liked. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. Lassie. Okay, Those Johnny, what's more. going on? Nothing as usual? No. What's going on? Well, That's I mean, not nothing. I mean, I mean, I mean, not... I just say, I mean, I did advertise. I even posted it on Twitter, and um, and I got the. And I'll, um, I'm going to go ahead and give the number again: five one six five three one nine eight seven four. I'm going to post it on. I'm going to do another Twitter thing on there again. Sorry, I didn't them. promote it that much, Dell. This time I can do it actually right now while we sit here, though. But because okay. I was getting my shot. I had to do all this last minute, all these appointments last minute to get ready for the yeah, last minute okay. trip I'm going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that I'm glad I'm fun. not and You're going to a, um, I mean, I'm watching the baseball game as I sit, you know, I don't have it on, on voice, but I'm watching the Boston game as we sit here. But you're going to a football game, you said? Oh, the, uh, yes. Are you going to the, um, uh, they used to be the Oakland Raiders, and now they're Vegas Raiders yes. or something. They are the How Vegas cool Raiders. Yeah. And they're I'm doing pretty good. by the owner of the team. So it's going to be wow. even a better experience yeah. with the private VIP box and the food and mm-hmm. all that. So well, um, how'd that happen? <laughs> oh, how'd that happen? Uh, well, the lady who used to be the bunny mother at Playboy, she just called me up and asked me. She had a couple of free tickets, and she knew. She knows the owner, so now I will know the owner. And mm-hmm. her one of her best friends was the owner's roommate in college. So they go way back, and we're staying at the very beautiful home and all that. So I'm excited. So I just got the last minute plane ticket, got my shot. You have to have your shots to be able to enter the stadium. Yeah, well, even mm-hmm. to get on the plane, right? No, I don't think about the plane. I didn't hear that. I have. I did not hear that. You're supposed to show a card. Since when? Uh, I've been well, one, yeah. Never I know, minute to minute. Because I've been playing a lot. You guys know that. Well, I, They've never huh? asked me. I've been well, playing a lot. To, you guys know. I know that, but I want to go to Hawaii in a couple of months. And right now, I don't know about weather-wise for you, but uh, you're leaving tomorrow, you said? Yes, tomorrow night. Okay. We are getting weather here. Tahoe, Reno, um, mm-hmm. Gardnerville, Minden. There, They're talking 80-mile-an-hour winds, snow, uh Six to eight feet. So I don't know how it affects Vegas, but you should check. Okay, I'll check the weather right now. It was cold here today, that's for sure, in Huntington Beach. Yeah, well, well, we're mm-hmm. eight hours away from Vegas, but you never know. Sometimes they get part of our weather, you know. So oh, it is cold there, I know. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, we're going to be getting a huge storm in the next few days here. So I'm letting you know that. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I'm looking right now. What All right, I'll check that Vegas? out. It says what right now. About Vegas? Oh my gosh, in Vegas right now it's 82. That's hot. Oh, wow, I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. yeah crazy. I know. Wow. Now we're only an okay. hour away by plane from from Vegas to Reno. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's all nice. we are. But you know what? That's what my flight is. I leave at seven thirty. I get there at like eight forty, a little over an hour. 
Oh, mm-hmm. that's nothing. Yeah, because you're going, but you're going LAX, right? No, I go out of Orange County. Oh, you go out of yeah. Okay, I've gone into Orange County before. It's uh, I really enjoy that. So I enjoy better. that, and mm-hmm. and Burbank. Oh, it's so much better. It's so, so much better. better. Burbank too. It really is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I flew out okay. to Orange County, my girlfriend uh, lives there. I was going to visit her, uh, Suki. You know, but. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, the food, they didn't have enough restaurants or anything. Is it still that way? Oh, gosh, no. They're so everywhere, and it's really full. It's a full city. Newport Beach is right Mm. next door. It's gorgeous restaurants, too. No, you would be Mm. happy. I don't know why that happened when when you were here. It's a big city full of restaurants. It was a long long time ago. That's why. You know when you were staying? Okay. Right. Earlier in the show, you were talking about your mindset that you actually went through a surgery without yes. anesthesia. So I think you were trying to get at, like, if I just tell my mind in my mindset that I'm not going to get sick, I'm not going to have bad side effects from this COVID shot, then maybe I won't, right? Hopefully, yes. Um, it's my mindset. I, the, the, I don't know if it works that way with the shot, but... My first shot, um, I had, oh, of course, I have arthritis in my knees, so my bones ached really bad for th- two or three days. And then it was nothing and went back to normal. The second shot, nothing, zero, squat, because they told me the older you get, the less you get any, you know, after effects. And on the third booster, it's only half a shot, so I don't expect anything. From that, but they're not oh, letting that good. Moderna booster out yet here. So, because I called Walmart, just mm-hmm. if it was available, and nothing. Wow, nothing. I know yeah. the first shot, nobody was around. It was like the guy was. I had to wait for him to get his stuff together. This time, there was a little booth that you shut the door. There were people waiting. It was moving quickly. It was quite busy. Now, the vaccine place was very busy. Good. Mm-hmm. Good, because we were checking places that we wanted to go with. Richard uh, is from Farmington or New Mexico, and they have the one of the highest forms of um, COVID out there because they have the Navajo tribe of Indians, uh, and it's very strange. They have, like, uh, a lot of people are uh, not being political, but they're Republicans. They don't want to wear masks. And they don't want to get shot. And they have the highest, high, one of them in Alaska have the highest um, COVID. Oh, you know what I heard on the news is that California, and I was very surprised about this, that is the slowest uh, state for, you know, for mm-hmm. the virus to be moving. It is the slowest one where they are tracking, contracting the disease. That's because really everybody's surprised. leaving. Everybody's leaving California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all leaving. Because they the all want to get their vaccine to watch football, maybe. But all yes, I have to I'm... ask or tell Richard something, because we were talking about all the ships. You guys were telling me you need to watch the news, so I have been. I drove down there to the coast for minutes. Mm-hmm. And there yeah. were so many ships, so many ships out there. Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. I mean, I see it on the news, but seeing it in real life is just different, and that's crazy. But at least they're in a, a nice area. <laughs> Maybe they can dock mm-hmm. and go shopping. No, That's what a, that's what a uh, invasion fleet looks like during war time. Oh, no. Ships cool. everywhere. Yeah. There's 80. Mm-hmm. Well, how many how many ships? Um, Richard is oh, is, is out there. Fifty, sixty there. I mean, all the major ports are just loaded. Ships are just sitting there, uh, waiting to, to get unloaded. It's so much. And stuff they've in been there sitting that, there for weeks. And I know the food's yeah. got to be rotted. And I mean, who's manning those ships? And it's like, it's really weird. I mean, um, it's scary. And they're talking about, you know, like 
a lot of stuff is not in the stores anymore. If you go to the stores and you try to buy something, the shelf is wiped out. You know, mm-hmm. and everything's going up in price. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's my well, thought. Well, what they've been saying, that the Christmas presents <laughs> are sitting out there on ships, you know, like kids' toys. I doubt there's hardly any kids' toys made in the USA anymore. It all comes in from China or wherever, and it's all sitting out there in containers waiting to be offloaded. So if you're, Christmas you know, waiting for a uh, probably a fake Christmas tree, you might have a surprise in trying to find one. Well, right here, the, the Astros, the, the Houston Astros just scored a home run. Two outs. Is that good or bad? Oh, that's bad. Okay. Boston. No, hmm. it's, it's the first round. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted Boston to win. Um, I want them to win. I mean, you know, I'm not a great fan of them. I mean, I'm I'm a Yankee fan, and I'm from Jersey, so Yankees. Yeah. And, uh, Where's the Braves also, playing? <laughs> huh? With the Braves playing? It's. Uh, Is that a Braves? Austin, yeah. Austin yeah. Astros, and then the Dodgers and the Braves. And the Dodgers are two games behind. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure? just, I, I, I I'm just it's, their teams are really weird. They're, I mean, I have no sound on because I'm doing the radio, but I'm just watching it, and it's weird. Barbara, did you hear about the Alex Baldwin thing? What happened? Yes. Oh, God. At first, I didn't know it was he who actually pulled the trigger. I know. Yes, but I read more. Apparently, people walked off the set prior to this happening because they didn't want... They didn't uh, didn't want him playing with these guns because this is how Bruce Lee's son died. Uh, What happens is, I guess there's fragments of the bullets... uh, Yes. Something that are left in the gun, and when they shoot it, it comes out for real, and mm-hmm. that was that. And people walked off the set, and they did not. I don't know. They didn't want him to do that. And the Astros, okay. And um, oh no, that's so horrible. What a yeah, tragedy! So he killed that girl, and then the guy is okay, um, and he freaked out. I'm sure. There's going to be lawsuits, and I'm sure oh, yeah. she was an upcoming photographer. She was, They showed her picture. She was beautiful, and she was oh, an upcoming no. photographer, a mom with two kids, and, and um, oh, it's so sad. And then, of course, you know, this, I think this is Alex Baldwin's first movie that he's doing, so good luck, you know. Gosh, I'm still into that. So Monica, that. I know. If they have a set at all at this time. But uh, right now they're holding the set, you know, because they're doing the police work. But uh, really weird. Uh, I'm still into the Monica Lewinsky thing. I have, I, I can't stop watching it, Barb. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I tried to watch it, and it, they're making me pay. And I, I already, I am already subscribing to so many things on the television. Oh, no, 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 no. It. It's on regular TV. Once a week for free, oh. and it's on, on on Tuesdays, I believe, and I get it on Fox HD, Channel 70. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'll you get by it. Again. It's, or go through your guide and go through every day and you'll see it. I know. That's where they're having it for free, and I've been watching. I have seven, eight, ten episodes. I can't stop watching it. I'm just mesmerized. That really is interesting. Oh, yeah. Tell us one thing that is crazy. You really want to hear it? Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on radio. (laughs) We're over 18. (laughs) I don't know. um, Linda Tripp, I mean, Linda Tripp was taping all the phone calls, which was illegal, uh, that she had with Monica, even though she was really good friends with Monica. And Monica would describe the sexual things that were going on between her and Clinton. Uh, They never had regular sex, but they had oral sex and, you know, 
all, everything else. But she actually really? described him as, <laughs> I know, somebody's going to get me on this. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say Don't it. Say it. Brian, like, I'm not going to say it. Don't say it. Does I'm Richard know? It. Richard can yeah, tell Richard us. Yeah, Richard knows. So I'm not going to say it. Tell us, no. Richard. Don't say it. No. no, he won't either. Everybody gets the picture, so go ahead. Oh, yeah. Here's the light. Listen, the size was not portrayed as what people would think it would be. Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't yeah. know what people would think. I didn't. I don't know what people would think. Some, would it be good or bad? What they would think. I mean, he's just an average guy. Yeah. Average. Hmm? Average. average. I mean, you know. It, it, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, Is he well endowed? No I'm not answering the question. Contain yourself. Contain yourself. Yes. You're sure what? saying. Shut up. <laughs> Before you say something you don't want to say. Okay. That's right. Let's change the subject. Let's say anyway. Yeah. It is so good. Talk about I walk- the dog. <laughs> you, you watch her on YouTube and you'll see a lot of it. And it, mm. it really, I really felt sorry for the girl because she really, truly loved him. And uh, he did care for her. Mm. And it showed. Okay. It showed. Wow. And, and Richard's telling me to shut up. <laughs> She's just talking so about gonna, love. Well, yeah, I'm talking about sex and love. Know. You're on the air, so you got to be careful. What you say? I, know. I, mean, I am. I have a um, Well, yeah, okay, but Barbara. We are eighteen and over. What? Richard, are, we are eighteen and over. We're marked. I know, down. but you know, what? I know that. Now, nowadays, yeah. if you say something really wrong, they come after you. Yeah. So I'm not saying anything. Anyway, let's okay. change the subject. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right, Johnny. Are you there? You have... I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, I thought maybe you're screening some calls. No, you know, I can tell you, Barb, um, both of you, I'm honest about this. I really did advertise. I mean, I, I put the – and and usually, you know, those tags, but they after do work. Four, Johnny, Johnny, after 14 years, what is up? Sometimes we get a lot of phone calls and we get nothing. I know. And we get a lot of phone calls and we get nothing. So it's kind of weird. I know. I need Very to figure weird, something but... out. I'm, I, what I did was mm-hmm. I sent. Um, I just I sent a message to Blog Talk Radio asking them what night a week gets the most listeners. I really want to hear their answer. Um, I mean, I know oh, that we're on Talk? front. Well, yeah. I mean, if they say another night, then I would love they to hear what. Be... Yeah. So I think that's worth doing. Oh. I mean, it's... no. As we get yeah, closer to the Friday. holidays, it's going to be weird. Like Halloween, you certainly mm-hmm. don't want to do. I mean, you know, there's certain Actually, times I would think Halloween and... for somebody like you would get no. more help. No, I'm not a she's witch. Not she's not a cookie witch. No. <laughs> I didn't say you were a witch. I didn't no, say you were people a witch. are out, they're out <laughs> trick-or-treating, <laughs> you know. I never said and I got to get. I said, I said that the paranormal is a big subject around Halloween. I know it is. Good. Let them <laughs> have it. I'm not part of the paranormal either. <laughs> you have to really understand that I'm not. I'm an individual that has a gift. Period. Which is very Exclamation big. Exclamation point! Mm-hmm. Exclamation point! Have you, uh, yeah. Barbara, uh, Have you seen Sex in the City? Did you ever see it? I used to watch it a little bit. Okay, remember the bald-headed guy that used to act like he was gay? Uh, yes. Carrie's friend. He died. Kind did you know it? that? No, yes. I did not. Oh no! That killed me hearing that because I love. I mean, hey, they charge you for Sex in the City now too. So, but on the E Channel, <laughs> if I tape it, it's all for free, you know. So, but he died. And I <laughs> yeah, that. Everybody, <laughs> everybody I know is dying, and I'm going, oh my god! Yeah. This doctor, doctor, they go, well, you should really get a blood test and check that out. I go, no, no, no. I know what's wrong with me, so I'm not worried about it. He goes. You know, he goes, why don't you take that stupid pill, tamoxifen? I said, have you read anything about tamoxifen? 
<clears throat> it's worse. It's a form of, um, what do you call it? When they give you the, uh, my mind's gone. Anesthetic. No, <laughs> the, when they're giving to fight the cancer, what do you call that? Chemo. It's a form of chemo. And I said, there's no way I'm taking that. I'm not putting that poison in my body. You know, so I that wouldn't. was that. I wouldn't want to either. I don't take. I try not to. Look, I know people that take all this stuff and they die anyway. What's the point? I'd rather have quality of life. Yeah. But they're well preserved. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad you are fine. What a relief. Yes. I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm working on my pre-diabetic thing, but other than that, I'm okay. Well, I've got okay. a pet here for the pet reader. Um, the pet, I'm wondering why she's so mean. I'm wondering why this white bird is so mean to the little boy bird. She's just a what lady boss. What are you boss. talking about? What are you I talking about? I have two about? birds, and this one bird is, Johnny says we have a pet person coming on. I have pet this medium. one bird. It's, it's always I could tell you, medium. Barbara. Barbara, yes. I could tell you. Mm-hmm. The one bird oh, you want is jealous. To? Yeah. The one <laughs> really the one bird the one bird is jealous of the other bird, that's all. You gotta yes. give the bigger bird more attention. Oh <laughs> gosh, that bird does not want to be touched. It will go it will freak out. But it is jealous though when I give the other one attention, but it doesn't the white one doesn't want my attention. But she won't let him eat first. She always like pushes them around but they also do kiss and they love each other as well so it's kind of well, funny then i wouldn't worry I know about it I w- i'm not worried i just think it's funny and i i'm not worried at all i'm just i would trying never to i've take taken the time you up here. For, i would have never taken you for a bird person oh gosh i'm not i am now though but my daughter you i let her have the birds but of course you know i didn't really like it that she had the birds in her room and I brought them in the living room and just watching them all day long now I really am into them and I want to get another bird yeah, I know. they're addictive I had I had a parakeet when I was a kid named Gigi and I taught it to oh. talk and it was trippy and when my mother what walked color? in the room uh, just a little tiny parrot you know the normal no, color you buy like the parrot? Oh. yellow, oh, green they're all whatever. different colors you know, they were, mm-hmm. I don't know. I was young, green. I was that was mm-hmm. one of my first pets, and 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 Myrtle the turtle was my second pet. <laughs> Which I flushed turtle. down the toilet three times. I don't. Know. Oh God! <laughs> it kept coming back up. <laughs> no way! I call it turtle the turtle. 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 Well, it had epileptic seizures, so I got to hear the toilet. Wow. Oh, God. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> I've run out of things to say. So, Barbara, you talk. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Well, let's see here. Oh, I got two dozen roses. Long stem pink two Ooh. dozen roses just for nothing from a fan. Wow. Ooh. Wow. I've been really enjoying well, them. They're gorgeous. you got to be mm. careful because fans can be stalkers, so be careful. Mm. Pink, mm. pink well, ones, long they stem are. roses. We're talking about $100. What? what? I, I thought more. I thought, like, more than that, I think. Yeah, more. Just yeah. These, ones. these ones are so high quality. Well, they are stalkers, a lot of them. And even the other day, I was wondering, I wonder how many weirdos really are out there that I'm just writing back as answering them like they're nice, normal fans, and they're really maybe a rapist or a serial killer. I mean, I'm sure I've run across. No, many. no one's gonna kill. No one's gonna kill you. But yeah. and I and I no, think you can fight. To. And I think you can fight your way off almost any man, so I'm not worried about it. Mm-hmm. I am pretty strong. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite shows is that yes. sh- the show about self-defense, and they first they show a crime, like in a convenience store, robber, and they show the victim, so-called victim, shooting the robber, 
and and what they did right, what they did wrong. And then they, they show it in real time. Then they go through it, and if the guy picks it apart. And I really am into this. I think that we should protect ourselves. We've had a policeman mm-hmm. on. He says to get a, a siren or a horn. He's even That's more it. than mace. You know, Very I know well. what you're saying, but you've got to grab the thing if you don't freak out. Best way to do it is take some – I did this when I was younger – is take karate classes. That's the best way to do it and learn how to defend yourself. I did that. Or boxing. I need to brush up on it. I should brush up on it, but I, Lorenzo actually uh, would teach me that stuff, and I would even mm-hmm. flip him I've over heard. me on a mat. I've heard but, that. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. What? Well, what I was going to say is, is that they say the best thing to do when someone is chasing you is to say the words, I don't know him. Because what? otherwise people will think that you're, you're, it's just a boyfriend and a girlfriend having a fight. No, maybe that might work, but here's yeah. another way. Can I tell you, here's one way, and I've used this before, when somebody is following you, you know, and then you know they're following you, you just turn around and you start following them and you start screaming and acting really crazy. And watch them leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the noise. Well, they don't like the noise. No, no. They don't, they don't want to go after it. They, they, don't, they don't expect it. They don't expect mm-hmm. that at all. You uh-uh. start chasing they them, you go, get the heck out, and you start going crazy on them. Oh, and I they down my peeping Tom. Mm-hmm. See? Peeping mm-hmm. Tom? You had a peeping Tom? Oh, Jesus. Not at this place. And I screamed and carried on and was grabbing my because he was watching me undress completely for a long time through my window and oh wow I screamed and I swore really bad swear words and screamed ran out my house after Mm. him with my robe tying my robe and my (laughs) neighbor man came out it was 4 a.m though because my girlfriend from Seattle was visiting we went down to a cut a company party and it was just one of those really late nights but it was December, and it was super hot. Odd. Hmm. So I opened the window, and whoever, that's weird. They were watching us come home that late at night, from 2 to 4 a.m., something's really late, late, late. We let the babysitter go, and she got on the couch. I was in my room, and my daughter was there, and the guy was by my window peeking in with his hands even on the ledge. And I Oh my God. I look and he put his head down really fast so I couldn't see his face. Oh my gosh, there was not even a screen on the window. He was closer to my daughter than I was at a time. I would have screened the window to on your fingers. Can't believe it. And I mean, you feel like you're safe when you are with a friend, but you're not really. I mean, Ted Bundy went in and killed like six ladies in one half, one place. Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've had some weird. Thank God I have a dog. My dog will kill you if you come anywhere yeah. near me. Oh God! Oh. oh my God! My dog will go bad. for your throat, and I love it. I mean, it's just I feel so safe with him. I go in the car with him, and he he'll bark and he'll tell people, "Hey, you stay away." This is my dog. Yeah. The dog, the dog barking. And my neighbor has a dog, and anybody near our doors, just the two doors are close, it barks. So I get the benefits of her dog barking at people out there. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like it. I've had weird mm-hmm. things happen to me when I was young and real pretty and all. And I've had airline pilots follow me home. I mean, literally. I've had truck wow. drivers follow me home. I don't know what it is. It's very weird. So wow. I know what you're talking about. But you don't but want to But now that I'm done. older, it's fine. I'm not as beautiful as I used to be. <laughs> they still follow you. Huh? Oh, wow. I want to get a gun. I want to get a gun and learn how to. I can shoot No, no, a gun. no. You don't want to do that. I would use it and end up like Alex Baldwin. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, that's true. I don't. You know, my premonition is about pre- uh, prison. I don't want to get closer to that. It's just so weird. What, what? Somebody said it was what? another life, Dale. Because I always what? have these thoughts of prison, of me in prison. I always have these. Of you? In, I don't think so. Yes. So I don't know why. And I yeah. was obsessed with prison for a while. I was watching every show I could find on it. 
Hmm. I'm not. I would stay out. <laughs> I don't want to be in prison. <laughs> I don't want but to. You, do you think I should get a gun? No. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> You're as bad as I am, temper-wise. No. <laughs> no. I, I okay. recognize I have a temper, and when I have used a gun before, I had to. This is when I was really young. I was 18, 19. I was married. My first husband, and we had a rifle, and we, he would take me to the rifle range and all. And this guy, I let him in my house, and he was trying to sell us something, and then he told me to sign the paper, and then if I signed it, I'd have to keep this thing up on my window for a lot of years, and I figured, that's not right. So I went into the bedroom, and I put the gun on lock, and uh, my thirty thirty, and I came out with the rifle, and I pointed at him. I said, I said get up out of the house. Do not come back. Do not pass go. Keep going. I've never seen anybody run so fast in my life. Awesome. I'm so <laughs> glad you had that, though. But then I put you it had that at the time. I, no, but I, I just, no. I would say not a good thing to do. Not for me. Whoa. I got a bad temper. I mean, I yeah. don't have a bad, bad temper. I mean, Richard's never seen my temper temper. I've only, you know, I yell and scream the Jewish way, but I, you know, when I get really <laughs> mad, get out of my face. Oh, my God. I see Ooh, red. Has he not seen that? Has he not really seen the mad, mad? Mm-mm. Good. He hasn't seen that yet. <laughs> He's too sweet to see that. I okay, know. so, Johnny, yeah, we're going yeah. on 14. We, we need to talk. We're going on 14 years. you got to find out what's wrong, what's going wrong, okay. you know. Uh, well, I do. I mean, I, I, I will, I'm going to see if I can look at the, some consistent advertising uh, methods. That I mean, the, but I will. I'm going to. I'm going to talk to some people and see if I can figure out. Because I, I, I've some. I know I'm some telling you, at, Zoom is a hundred times better. You know, if we go on Zoom, and that don't you agree, yeah. Barb? Totally you agree know, because it's made for people who want to look good. The other one is made for. People who are just in the office doing charts, all that. The Zoom is made for it's more flashy. It's more for like the entertainment world. They all use it. I think we should switch. Are you, are you talking about blue jeans or Zoom? Yeah, from blue jeans to Zoom. And Barbara, Ooh. I'm ready in the next week or not in the next week or so to do whatever interview you want. Okay, good. Well, I'll be back Monday, oh. just like normal. So right. we'll schedule that with you then. That'll be great. You want to give a shout-out, Barbara? Well, she was talking. Good. Sorry. Hold on, Dale. What were you going to say? I don't remember. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Do you feel like it's a last for- day this whole day? I kind of what? feel that way today. I feel last <laughs> day today. Last <laughs> day That's a very good word. Yeah. That's a very I good word. Lots of days. I haven't heard that in a mm-hmm. long time. Lots of days ago. <laughs> I, I got to use that. I use that. that a lot. Yeah. I mean, I feel good, but I don't feel sick yet, you guys, so that's a good sign. So, I told uh, you, nothing will pop up, so leave it. Just don't put it in your head, okay? Just like don't even think doctors, about it. Yeah, stupid doctor put stuff in my head, and I said to my husband the other night, I hope he doesn't mess up my head because... I got it in a good space, so I'll be all right. I'm already yeah, losing weight. Mm. I'm already losing weight. I'm watching my diet. I'm mm. doing good. You're okay. Ah, oh, gee, <laughs> thanks. And <laughs> you're okay. all settled in, so that's wonderful. You're home. Yeah. 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 I think it's all great. Okay, everybody, well, you missed store. out. You missed out on getting your free readings today if you're listening out there. Don't be shy. <laughs> we have tons of phone calls, callers in. Today we didn't, but it was very enjoyable chatting with you and finding out funny things Dale has to tell mm-hmm. us and listening to her. And Richard, I always yeah. like oh, his laugh. <laughs> his, his laugh is contagious. So Put on some life laughter uh, and uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> life laughter. Thank you, Johnny, please. Thank you, Johnny, Barbara, for your efforts. Barbara. Mm-hmm. 
Wait, when you post, people call. So do something. Okay. okay? Well, people can't on the all of my social uh, social media, Johnny, and then I just push accept, and there it is. If I'm in a jam, but and John, I don't have time Johnny, that works. I think that it need you really need to look into uh, Zoom, and uh, we really need to go up live in next few weeks and start doing it. Let's switch it to Zoom. Everybody knows about Zoom. Nobody's heard of Blue Jeans still to this day. No one. That's right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so right. everybody. Anyway, uh, I'll shout week. out for a big aloha. Yeah. I have a meatloaf in the oven, yeah. and i got to take it out. Okay? <laughs> I wish okay. I was Good there. <laughs> okay. Good night, everyone. Aloha, you guys. Aloha. Follow us on YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.